Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new around here, my name is Caroline. I'm a UK-based physics lecturer. I thought it might be fun in some of these videos to look at the different roles that exist within a university. Um, and so today's video is all about the role of the dean. Okay, so let, let's just put it out there. I have never been a university dean. I am a university lecturer. You know, so I research and I teach and I work at a university, but I do work essentially for my faculty's dean. So the dean at a university, or at least in, in my experience, is if you like, the leader of the faculty. And the faculty is a collection of departments within the university. So I'm based in the department of physics, but my department belongs to a faculty of physical engineering sciences. So alongside the physics department, it's also the mathematics department, the chemistry department, and we have several engineering departments. Um, I'm gonna not list them all <laughs> because I'll probably forget somebody or, or annoy somebody by not mentioning them. But essentially, um, that collective, that group of departments forms our faculty. And at my university, we have three faculties um, and the engineering and physical sciences is one of them. And at the head of that faculty, that is where the dean sits. And so it's quite a unique position. Um, it's probably, I suspect, if you're actually doing the role, quite a, uh, a stressful at times and a difficult position. Uh, you are there looking at the interests both of the departments that you oversee and also making sure that the interests of the university are represented. So what does it actually mean? You know, what are you doing day to day as the dean? From, from my perspective as someone looking at people being deans, uh, the responsibility seems to be that you're going to be looking across the, the research activities, the, the teaching activities, so basically the scholarly output of that faculty, and also ensuring that the faculty runs smoothly. You know, are the departmental budgets running smoothly? Are the recruitment and admission strategies, you know, progressing well? What is the outrage, you know, what is the engagement of that faculty and the individual departments, both to the local and to the wider community? As a dean, you really are having to wear several hats because you're having to dip in and out of several different areas of interest within the university. And I think that means as the dean, you know, again, from what I can see is that you have to attend lots of meetings, sit on boards, committees, quite often chair those boards and those committees. Um, so I know that our dean at our university, they chair um, a regular meeting for all the heads of department. Now, I don't know what goes on inside that meeting. I've not been to a head of department meeting. And um, if you have, let me know in the comments, you know, what did you find of it? But I know, and I can imagine that they're probably chatting about, you know, budgets, um, the vision of the, of the university, strategic planning, insight, um, analyzing kind of the research outputs, all that good stuff probably goes on at the head of department's meeting with the Dean. Um, I do though go to a meeting with the Dean myself because I am the physics admissions tutor. I think in a, in a previous video, I've, I've talked a little bit about the fact that as university lecturers, not only do we do research and teaching, we quite often have an admin role as well. And so my admin role is as the physics admissions tutor. And that means that therefore I get together with all the other admissions tutors, you know, from chemistry and math and engineering, we all get together along with the Dean and we have a meeting where we talk about admission related issues. Um, so there's all sorts of things we talk about, but that is a meeting that, you know, is, is led and quite often chaired by the, the Dean of the faculty. And as a dean, you're sort of, I guess, looking in two directions. You're looking at the direction of the departments. So obviously you are looking at the strategic and the planning and overseeing what's happening across the multiple departments within your faculty. But at the same time, you've got to look at the university and look at the, the kind of the things that the university want. 
So, you know, across the faculties, does the university have some overarching missions? Is there an overarching strategic goal that you're needing to respond to? And so I guess as the dean, you'll, you'll then split both ways with your time. So you're trying to ensure that the departments are functioning and working well and, you know, improving and helping and supporting all that good activity that goes on. But also keeping all that in mind, are you aligned to the research goals and the vision of the overall university? And is the faculty supporting that mission of, as I said, the overall university body? So, yeah, I can imagine <laughs> as, a, as somebody looking in on the role that it is probably very time consuming, very demanding. You probably get pulled in different directions because we all think our problems are the most important when we're in these meetings. So, you know, I suspect as dean, you get very good at coordinating your time, you know, making decisions, having to listen to multiple viewpoints and then bringing a balanced conclusion together based on the evidence that you have. I, yeah, I can imagine it is quite a full on role. And so you might ask then, who on earth is the dean? You know, how is a dean selected within a university? So again, from what I see here in the UK is that deans are typically people that have had an academic career. You know, I am, in my experience, the deans have always been professors. So I'm a lecturer. I did a video about how you work up in the UK from being a senior lecturer to a reader, then to a professor. And yeah, in, in my experience, the deans have always been at the professor level. Now, when you're the head of a department, so my departmental head in physics, you know, you have an awful lot of departmental head duties, but I have seen people manage to maintain research and a small amount of teaching whilst they are head of department. You know, they may downscale their research activities and limit their teaching, but I have seen people be able to do those activities alongside being the head of department. They're also probably having to juggle a lot of pieces of work to make it work, but they, they do seem to be able to make that balance work. When you're the dean, I think it's more common that you're then stepping away from research and teaching, at least for that period of time, whilst you are the dean of the faculty. You know, these are advertised for positions. You know, these are positions that are, are interviewed. There's a lengthy process to go through. Um, and you may not have been at that university as a professor. You know, you could be transferring from a different university to be dean at another university. And I think that's quite common, that somebody is a professor at one university and then applies to be the dean for a faculty which includes their department that they specialised in, but at a different university. Because when you're the dean of a faculty, you know, it is a, it's a management role. You know, it is a management position within the university. And with so many activities going on and looking after all these departments, aligning yourself to this vision of the university, keeping everything ticking along. Um, maybe some deans do keep up their research and a bit of teaching, but uh, I can imagine there's probably quite a lot to do in the job already without needing to have those extra bits added on. Do I want to be a dean one day? I'm not sure. I think there's parts of the job I would definitely enjoy, um, but I think with all things, there's parts of the jobs that you think, oh gosh, that might be quite, quite tough. Um, so we will see, who knows, you know, maybe, maybe one day I'll make it up to a dean, but first of all, I need to at some point get up to being a professor and that's going to take a bit of time anyway. Um, so yeah, let me know, do you work for a dean? Does your faculty do things differently? Do you not have deans? Does it work differently in your country? Let me know in the comments. It's really interesting to hear all of our different experiences of universities around the world. Um, I'll be back next Monday, so I'll see you again next week at 10 o'clock on a Monday morning for yet more academic videos. But in the meantime, stay safe and look after yourselves. And I'll see you next week. Bye.